Oh, prejudice. This is a song about prejudice. And the language of prejudice. And the power of the language of prejudice. He always looked like he just now got finished having sex. He always looked like he just got finished. Uh, uh. Yeah. Oh, I got a show. I got a show. I got a show. Wash it off in the sink and then run out there on stage. That's what he act like. And that's what he looked like. He looked like he always getting it in and then he run out there on the stage and then he playing some beautiful tunes. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. <laughs> it's called... It's called Prejudice. 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 Love the echo. In our modern free spoken society, there is a word that we still hold taboo. A word with a terrible history of being used to abuse, oppress, and subdue. Just six seemingly harmless letters arranged in a way that will form a word. Hold on. Hold on. See, see, decrepit spice. I see, I see what you said. You said, please don't get offended. Please don't get offended. Okay. Listen, listen. He said six letters, bruh. I know I'm holding up five, but I'm holding up one down here. See, look, I got that one right there. He said six letters, and he's talking about some prejudice. And I see you in the chat talking about don't get offended. So I need to see what's okay. Less letters arranged in a way that will form a word with more power than the pieces of metal that are forged to make swords. Swords. A cup of G's, an R and an E, an I and an N. Just six little letters all jumbled together have caused damage that we may never mend. And it's important that we all respect that if these people should happen to choose to reclaim the word as their own, it doesn't mean the rest of you have a right to its use. So never underestimate the power that language imparts. I love that he just now did that. I'm not going to attempt to do it, but I swear to goodness that if I would have been able to do that in the pinnacle of me trying to be an artist, a singer when I was younger, that would have been so freaking dope, man. To, I mean, to do that. Did you hear with the microphone? Just that, that echo was just so perfect, man. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Power that language imparts Sticks and stones May break your It's about to get real But words can break hearts A couple of G's cheese, Unless you've had to live it An R and an E Even I am careful with it An I and an N In the end it will only offend Don't want to have to spell it out Again Yeah. Oh, you better not. You better not. Do not do it. Don't you start. Don't feel like just because you playing a rap um, tune that you can start rapping and then you can you can say it. You can't say it just because you rap it. <laughs> you can't. You cannot say it just because you're rapping. And if you do like reaction like this, please do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button for me. All right. And hit the um, notification bell so you're notified before everyone when our next reaction comes out. Okay, here we go. That is a dope beat, though. Yeah. Ah, 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 hey. Only a ginger can call another ginger, ginger. <laughs> Only a ginger can call another ginger, ginger. 
So listen to me if you care for your health You won't call me ginger last you ginger yourself Yeah, only a ginger can call another ginger ginger I like this chart <laughs> Only a ginger can oh. Am I supposed to say that? I apologize to the whole community of the word I just now said. I apologize. I meant nothing. I just, I started singing. So I, now, yeah, when, okay. When y'all are at your rap concerts and y'all hear them say that and y'all get into y'all groove. Okay. All right. You get it. Okay. All right. All right. Yep. When you are a ginger, life is pretty hard. The years of ritual bullying in the schoolyard. The kids call in your anger and fan of pants. <laughs> Dance, but you get up and learn to hold your head up. You try to keep your cool and not get head up. But until the feeling of ill is truly let up, and the word is ours and ours alone. Don't you know that only a ginger can call another ginger ginger? Hey, yeah, ah. only a ginger can call another ginger ginger. Okay, what's that? What's 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 that? I don't know what that word is. I never heard that word. I heard the, I eat ginger snaps, okay? So I, I've, I've said that word when I was talking about the cookies, all right? Or also ginger beer. I love me some ginger beer and ginger ale. Mm-hmm. Hmm? But the ginga part, I never heard that. If only a ginga can call another ginga ginga. So if you call us ginger, we just might come unhinged If you don't have a fringe with at least a tinge of the ginger in it Only a ginger Bars, bro! Ah! Ah! We're not looking for sympathy Just because we're sensitive to UV Just because we're pathetic <laughs> We do all right with the females Yeah, I like to ask the ladies round for ginger beer And soon they're running their fingers through my ginger beard and dunking my ginger nuts into their ginger tea, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Talk your stuff, man. This dude cool as hell, man. He cool. My ginger beard. And dunking my ginger nuts into their ginger tea, yeah. <laughs> and asking, can they call me ginger? And I say, I don't think that's appropriate. Cause only a ginger can call a not a ginger ginger. Ah. Ah. And all the ladies, they agree it's a fact But once you're gone, ginger, you can't go back Only a ginger can call another ginger ginger Yeah, go ginger, go you funky motherfucking ginger Yeah, you can call us bozo or fire truck you can even call us carrot top or blood nut, blood nut, blood nut. Yeah, you can call us matchstick or tampon. Tampon? <laughs> tampon? No, that is sad. If you call and you walking around and people calling you a tampon, that's just nasty. That's why would you call somebody a tampon? Why would you call somebody a tampon, bruh? This dude is nice on the piano. Let me tell you that much. He is nice, nice on the piano, man. You can call us matchstick or tampon. Tampon. <laughs> they laughing like hell. They like. <laughs> but fucking with the G word is just not on. If you're a ginger phobe and you don't like us, we will stand up to the fight if you want to fight us. But if you cut yourself, you might catch ginger bite us. So maybe you should shut your funky mouth Yeah, only a ginger Can call another ginger ginger Yeah, only a ginger Can call another ginger ginger So if you call a ginger You can't whinge if you're injured If you don't have a tinge of the ginger in your minge Only a ginger Can call another ginger ginger you know my kids will always be clothed and fed Cause Papa's gonna be bringing home the gingerbread And they'll be pretty smart because they'll be well read And by red I mean red and the other kind of red It's a homophone, only a ginger <laughs> <laughs> Ginger, ginger, ginger 
<laughs> he said red like the color and red like when 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 you know when they read somebody like and they snap their finger at you and they just be reading you like they they tell you about yourself and okay red okay like a ginger can call an eye ginger ginger yeah only a ginger can call another ginger ginger just like only a ninja can sneak up on another ninja yeah that's true Are you listening? I'm not pointing the finger. I'm just having a singer. I am just reminding ya that only a ginger can call another ginger. Ginger. Wow. Hold on. I had my, I had, to, I had, to, I had to touch my own uh, uh, joints because uh, this, this joint, decrepit spice. This was a great setup. You, you really had me, you really had me thinking that uh, the possibility of what was about to come was was about to come. That was genius, bro. This guy is a daggone, yeah. I'm tired of all these geniuses, man. It, it makes me when I. I don't know about y'all, but when I see geniuses time after time reacting to all of these people who are at the top of their game and just phenomenal at playing piano and making up songs and just holding the attention of a crowd, just the way that they do, it 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 it, it make me feel like I'm I'm not doing a like I'm not doing a lot. You know what I mean? That's what it make me feel like. It make me feel like I'm not doing my job and I need to step it up. This was smart. When he mixed it up, when he said G-I-N-G-E-R, and he he said two, two G's, um, an N, um, an I, a E. Right? Well, he spelled it out, but I thought he just scrambled it like the the other word. You knew, you knew what I was waiting for. You knew what I was waiting for. You was like, mm-hmm. Oh yeah. It's coming. Oh, so he had me sitting at the daggone edge in my seat, thinking that he was about to slide that daggone. Mm -hmm. I thought it was coming. And he probably was slick enough to even say it, and I missed it. It probably went right over my daggone head. But I enjoyed this right here. Hopefully, y'all did too. Let me know in the comments below what y'all thought about that. And please make sure you hit that subscribe button on your way out the door. Once again, guys, I am Van. Now we are all there. Who is texting me? Oh, okay. Okay, that's Mama Kim. I'm Van. And now we are all the LFR family. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Hopefully inside the Patreon as well. Y'all have been amazing. Love y'all. Join us on Twitch so you can be a part of this right here. You know, all of my people that's... We got Violin Muse, Mama Kim, Powder Puff. Uh, who else we got in here? Decrepit Spite, Angel. JP Walker's name is up here. Everybody. Okay, I'll see y'all next time. Love you.